When the Gallardo first came out, I didn't like it. The gear ratios were all wrong. It simply didn't feel that fast. And worst of all, the chassis wouldn't let me slide it into spectacular shapes. But this year, Lambo have shortened the gearing, given it more power, altered the suspension, and, by their own admission, made the steering more precise. They've also taken the roof off. Trouble is, without even turning a key, the Gallardo's off to a bad start. At £131,000, it's the same price as a Ferrari F430 Spider. Yet it's a tenth of a second slower to 60. And let's face it, when did you ever hear of a Lamborghini winning a Grand Prix? But then you see the magic mechanism in action. A 20-second symphony of hydraulics raising the carbon fibre engine cover like some sort of rocket launcher. You catch a glimpse of a beautifully machined hinge, the 520 horsepower 5 litre V10. And you know this isn't a temperamental supercar. It's a hardcore piece of quality engineering, and it looks brilliant. Suddenly, I'm in the mood. Time to unleash the beast. ESP off. <laughs> However, one tiny downside to being a convertible. With the roof down, the top speed is 190 miles an hour. But with the roof up, the aerodynamics are better and the top speed improves to 197. If you're rich enough, you've already had the Ferrari experience, then okay, maybe it'd be time to try a 